Well, good evening. I guess it's probably, I don't know, probably 11.30, 12 midnight. Um, I don't actually know what Bible I'll read, if any at all. I've got something on my heart that I just wanted to bring and put it on the camera and I don't have any particular person in mind uh, I've got so many people's uh, uh, I've got so many people's names that can come by me of people that I happen to know people that I know that was in the nursing home um, I've got s several that I can, I guess, possibly mention, maybe. But part of my responsibility is to be friends with everybody I know. I mean... Um, I would hope that my life would be able to tell the truth. I hope that my life would be in somewhat of an example. Uh, I would like to know that if I was talking to anyone, that they would see sincerity in me, they would be able to see the truth that is in me. Um, you know, I remember people that was in the nursing home that there's people that I'm not able to go and visit today because of the, the virus. Uh, the virus is somewhat shut me down from going to the nursing home. Um, I still have many friends that I made over a period of time that that I got to know. And uh, I've always considered myself to be the type of person that would be truthful. And no doubt a lot of times truthfulness goes a long way. But at the same time, you know, I, I can't do but so much. Um, I can be friendly. I can be nice. I can be considerate. I can even be understanding. But at the same time, Part of my duty and part of my responsibility is to share my conviction and share the uh, the truth. And again, I don't have any anybody in mind to point out, oh, I've got people in my head, I guess you could say. But um, I don't have many uh, friends um, in this life. Uh, I've got acquaintances. I've got people that I happen to know. I've got people that I'm, I'm close to. I'm friends with people, but I don't know how much they would understand this side of the friendship. I, I really just don't. Um, I don't know how much they would want to take this as as being anything, um, anything great. I would hope that the words that I'm saying today would be... Um, 
um, adequate. It would be uh, worthy of of honesty. You know, honestly, that would be my number one goal. Would just be to be honest. Uh, I guess since the Lord put conviction on me to care about people, I would want people to know that people could reach out. Um, every video that I make, I try to leave a response that if anybody wants to talk, that they have a phone number, they have an email, they have a, a, a web listing, they have the ability to use their cell phone. Um, if a person is close enough to me, I don't mind going in and sitting down with someone and trying to explain uh, the Word of God. I'm, I'm not the type of person that is going to bang you over the head with a golden hammer. Um, I can only tell you what the Lord has done in my life and how much that I, re I learned to respect Him because of the respect that He has showed to me. Um, I've got one f friend that... Uh, me and him got to be really close friends in the nursing home. Uh, I've got uh, maybe one or two friends that uh, um, that happened to live near me. Um, um, some of my friends are way younger than I am. I'm 63, and I only have maybe very, very few that is of my my own age. So there's a lot of times that I feel alone because of the fact that I just don't have that many people around me other than the acquaintances and people that I might go to church with or something like that, you know, but... um. This particular one is in the nursing home, and, you know, me and him communicate to each other, but we're not able to communicate to the point that it is what you would call quality. But I would hope that even this person would reach out in the event that, that they needed someone to talk to. And if they needed someone to talk to, I have made myself available. And I have literally, at times, even told him, you know, call me anytime. I beg of you to get me on the phone and talk to me and, and communicate with me. But, you know, certain people, they they busy. They got their own lives. They got their uh, own thing going, so to speak. And it just makes it, it makes it somewhat difficult because I don't have that many. You would be amazed at the people that sees my video that will never call, that they will never communicate, they will never talk to me. Um, I've got friends on uh, um Facebook, that very few of them ever communicate with me. Um, I don't think it's anything personal. I think that it's just that people have their own lives going and they don't really know what to say. And a lot of times they will stay away from someone that is trying to help them or trying to talk honest to them. Sometimes they don't want to talk because they're afraid that they might let out a little bit more information than they're comfortable of letting out. But I can't blame myself for that. 
And I guess the, one of the reasons why the Lord put it on my heart tonight to make such a video like this is to let people know that there is no reason why that if you've got concerns or you got questions or you got things that you would just want to communicate with and talk about that I I would be honored. That's the reason I put out my cell number on my website. There's a many of of YouTube sites that you can go to but you never see a contact number. They want to do ministry, but they don't want you to have their contact information. They'll take your money, but they don't want you to have their contact information. Um, you know, it's almost like the, it's one thing to grant to do ministry, but not no go no further than actually getting on the phone or getting on email or getting on Skype or video to be able to communicate with someone one-on-one. -on -one. Every time I end a video, I always try to end a video that if you ever want to chat, if you ever want to talk, then by all means get with me. But you would be amazed at the few, the few that that really reach out, that wants to communicate and wants to talk. Um, when I set up my website, elderlyministry.com, I set it up primarily for one mission. And that mission was to instill the desire of churches starting their own nursing home ministry. And I wanted that to be set up where that they would never, ever have to call me. I have nothing to sell. I have nothing to promote. So there would be no real reason for them to call me. But I left all of my contact information in the event that a particular church had a question about starting up a new nursing home style of of church activity in their church. And I made sure that everything was covered from one end to the other. And I primarily did that for the legacy that it would leave in the event if something was to ever happen to me that 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 website would stay up and it would stay there where the videos are where the instructional video is where all of the information is that when a church wants to begin the idea of looking into a nursing home ministry that they would look forward to seeing that website and studying that website and learning the do's and the don'ts of starting a ministry. And that was my desire, was to start a ministry that would be a, a answer a place to get answers. Well, you know, I've come to one conclusion. If if I say words like I'm saying tonight, right now, and I'm talking words for everybody to understand, then there's not going to really be a lot of debate because I try to speak very clear and very plain so that everybody is able to understand. So there really should not be a question you shouldn't go away from here tonight wondering if Brother Ken is willing to talk to you or not. I have made the plea for people to open up and to talk and to communicate, whether it be a friend 
that lives right here in my neighborhood, whether it's someone that lives in the nursing home, whether it be someone older than me or someone younger than me. I'm certainly not a professional when it comes to ministry. I'm not a professional. But you know what? I believe that what I'm giving to people is the truth. And the Bible says the truth shall set you free. And the reason that there is so many people today that are walking around and they're not walking around in truth, it could very well be that they may not know the Lord. And see, that's where I feel that I come in, that my responsibility is to show someone what they may need in the event that there's something going on in their life that maybe they just need someone to talk to, someone to communicate to. Again, the website is elderlyministry.com. The email is listed on that site. The cell number is listed on that site. Everything that you need to get a hold of me is there. You can also go to YouTube. YouTube is under Elderly Ministry. There's a pile of videos there, almost right at 880. I mean, I'm not saying that to brag about the videos. I'm saying that there is already words that is already made, that is ready to be shared to anyone that would be willing to go to that page and log on to to YouTube in your convenient time, whether it be night, day, early in the morning. We generally make time for what we find is important. And let me say this in closing. If your soul is not important, then it ain't my fault. If your soul, if you find your soul is not being important, then it's not my fault because I have given you the phone number. I've given you the website. I've given you the YouTube channel. I've given you every every way of contact but I can't make somebody contact me I'm not going to argue the Bible I'm going to tell you what the Bible says and I might even have prayer with you but I can't live your life only you can live your life but let me tell you this in closing you will stand before a holy God. And when you stand before a holy God, you will not be able to say that you did not know. Because there was someone that was offering their help, but you didn't take it to heart. And I would pray that that would not be the case. So if you want to communicate, I would love for you to reach out. If not, then I just hope that the video, that when the people find this video, they would see the sincerity of this video. I'm not a professional. I don't have a PhD. I'm not college educated. But I do feel like that I am who I am, and that's just me. I don't want to be nobody else. I want to be me. Today, if you're out here, I would just want to be me. And I think that you can appreciate somebody that just wants to be themselves. 
So if you need me, look me up. I'm at elderlyministry.com. The, the phone number is there. The email's there. YouTube is accessible 24 7. There's plenty of videos there that you can go and take a look at. If you want to talk to me, whether you are a friend that lives down the road or whether you are a friend that is across the world, I would just ask you to reach out. <laughs> no, I won't probably be able to help with income and money and food and things of this nature. But I'm willing to do what I can, what little I can. And maybe that will be sufficient. So again, thank you for watching. If I can do anything for you, by all means, reach out to me. Reach out to me. I'm here to pray, pray with you. I'm here to read you the scripture. I'm willing to help you explain the scripture the to because we are going to stand before God. And you're not going to be able to say you didn't know. Thank y'all for tuning in.